All right, when the appropriate ready for math, if you have your math workbook out, you can work along with me right now. If not, you can just watch to look for directions and then you can do it after you watch the video. All right, so we've got a couple of problems we have to solve today, so we'll do them together. I've got some counters out. Remember, yours might look a little bit different than mine, and that is okay. The directions say, use the counters to work these problems. Oliver has one juice box. So we're going to pretend like that is a juice box. Oliver has one. Lucy has one less than Oliver. So if Oliver has one and Lucy has less, that means Lucy's not going to have any. So she's going to have zero juice boxes. So you can use your pencil and write the number zero right there. We just close it around. All right, because Oliver has one and Lucy has less. So less than one is nothing. That I means she does not have any juice boxes at all. All right, come down here to the sun and we'll try another problem. Jessica has no books. So if she has no books, that means she has zero books. So I'm not going to put anything right there for Jessica. But Wesley has two more than Jessica. So if Jessica had zero, she did not have any, and Wesley had two more, how many books does Wesley have? One, two, he has two books, so write the number two. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, two, two. All right, now we're gonna lift up that page, turn it, and fold it back. You should have an apple at the top of your page. Eva has two apples in her basket. She eats one apple and gives one apple to her friend. How many apples does Eva have now? So I'm just gonna draw two circles up there for her two apples. All right, she ate one of them, so I'm gonna mark that one out. She gave one to her friend. So how many apples does she have now? Zero, you're right. She does not have any apples left. All right, put your finger on this little sun right here. Count and tell how many cubes there are. Let's touch them and count them. One, two, three. There are three cubes, so mark the number three. Put your finger on the leaf. Count and tell how many squirrels there are. How many squirrels do you see, boys and girls? Yes, there's one squirrel, so mark the number one. All right, so if you worked it with me, you are finished. If you watched me work it, then now you can get out your math paper and work on yours. All right, see you later, boys and girls.